I was reading a book by Madeline L'Engle called Walking on Water, and she was quoting this stage play, Our Town. And in the play, there is an interaction between um, two characters, and, and one character says, does anyone ever truly experience life as they live it? Essentially, who lives in the moment? The response was, nobody does. Saints and poets do, maybe, some of them. L'Engle goes on to talk about this grouping, this pairing of two people, of poets and saints, and that they have this way of living in the present moment and that landed on me in a really crazy way where I was like wow I've been influenced by both poets and saints my whole life we talk about the music that we grew up on what if we explored some of these stories and we wrote songs that corresponded with people's lives and like anything that God has a hand in it became a much bigger story than what we anticipated it quickly became evident to us that this project would be more than just writing songs and, and it turned into a trip and it turned into what if we just brought some of our favorite people along and I think at the essence of that it was how can we use this trip to study these people's lives more intimately so not just learning about them but really being in the places that they lived and, and gathering pieces of their story through their experiences almost seeing things as they would have seen them. really wanted to capture the sounds of the places that we went. We talked about it at one point of actually recording while we were over there and we were like, man, we really just want to experience the trip for what it is and then come home, bring our stories home and then write the songs. We gathered all these sounds from all kinds of places and we brought it home and we just started writing the songs. One of the coolest ones being at Omaha Beach and uh, collecting the sounds of the ocean. When we got back here, we started working on the first song, Heaven Meets Earth. We started talking about creation being spoken and sang into existence and what it might sound like. And I just remembered that ocean sound. When it started to play, we could start to hear this faint heartbeat. The wind had just hit the microphone that had created this heartbeat in the actual sample. And so that is the actual drum beat that we began to build off of for Heaven Meets Earth. It was just unreal to see how things kind of came out of these sounds. We brought along a few of our friends. We said, hey, could you just do some research for us? Could you find one really human element of each of these stories and, and give us something to explore each morning? So when we pull into these cities, would we have already read something about their story and found a way to connect with them? And so as the conversation progressed, it turned into, well, let's make a documentary. And then we thought, what if more than a documentary, we could use it as an example for small groups to learn about these people. The small group curriculum is a seven day, seven week study that we compiled of the poets and saints that we studied on this trip. Being in a small group setting, it has been so life changing for us. In this series, you're gonna get a participant's guide that goes with the entire thing. There's scripture to read, there's uh, songs to listen, there's writing prompts, there's things that are gonna challenge you and push you in ways that you haven't been pushed. It's a way to start a conversation about a bunch of people who had really crazy lives, not unlike our own, and it hopefully gets the ball rolling on some conversations that make a difference in your own story. In conjunction with the record and the curriculum, the participants guide, the DVD, our pastor, Jamie George, came with us on the trip and he said, wouldn't it be really cool if I could document the whole experience in book format? There are moments, there's stories, there's insight into what we experienced while we were there. And then there's deeper detail of each of these people's stories. We hope this project in its holistic form, the participant's guide, the DVD curriculum, the book, and the album really addresses all the senses, like that you have this holistic experience, not only with your mind, but with your heart, that it's broader, that it's deeper and richer than anything you've experienced before.